Hello photographers, here are a few quick tips about your Fuji X100S and some horrible jokes. <music> Tip number one, use your neutral density filter. Didn't know you had one? You do. There is an actual neutral density filter inside this camera. It's a three stop value. In other words, if you need a really slow shutter speed to capture some motion blur, you know, like maybe a waterfall, throw on the neutral density filter and you've got three stops extra. So rather than dealing with one quarter of a second, let's say, now you've got two full seconds of motion blur. This is a dramatic difference in look. In addition, the three stop neutral density filter gives you an opportunity to use the F2 in bright sunlight. You can get that very shallow depth of field in the middle of the day or close to it. You might be a photographer if you have nightmares about people using the P mode. Let's not even talk about the green mode. Tip number two, focus check. This is pretty cool and it only works when you're using manual focus mode and an EVF or electronic viewfinder. Once you start adjusting the focus ring, the electronic viewfinder zooms in and then you can see for sure if you're in focus. Whether you're using standard focus mode or split screen or peak assist, the truth is autofocus with this in low light situations still isn't that great. That's why I appreciate manual focus and focus check. You might be a photographer if when given a choice you always choose the shirt that comes closest to 18% gray. You might be an asshole photographer if after that last joke you blurted out, no, it's 12% gray. I tease, I tease. Tip number three, silent mode. As you no doubt have discovered, this is a pretty quiet camera as is. It doesn't have the mirror that the SLRs have flapping up and down, making all kinds of noise. And though it gives you three different electronic shutter sounds to choose from, you can change the volume of each one of them. Silent mode not only turns off the shutter sound altogether, it turns off all other sounds and any flashing lights, including the flash itself. This is a great feature when you're in a quiet place and you need to be as silent and as discreet as possible. You might be a photographer if during everyday activities you find yourself moving your head a little bit this way, a little bit that way, trying to get a better composition of what you're looking at. Last tip, see this little gel here? I taped it over to the flash when I opened the box the camera came in and haven't taken it off since. It is a one quarter CTO or color temperature orange gel and it gives all my fill flash a slightly warm touch. I really find it to be a nicer, more natural light than the bright white flash that you normally get. Ethical question, if you saw a man drowning and you could either save him or take a photo of the event, what shutter speed would you use? Why do narcissists hate the Fuji X series cameras? because they're mirrorless. Ah! Okay, that was pretty ridiculous. Thanks for stopping by, and until next time, good light and good shooting. See ya.